Well, hello, YouTubers. This is Bob. It's so good to be back with you guys. Well, the letters are pouring in, and we're going to have another Messages from the Spirit World, like I promised you. Before we get into that, give me just a moment, and let me attune to the Spirit World. My spirit guide Fletcher's here. He sends us greetings. Okay, my first letter tonight goes out to Forgotten Love 896. Hi, thanks for writing. You know, I want to tell you, um, I'm seeing May is an important month for you. It looks like there's going to be a breakthrough uh, around that time. And the important thing is tonight, now don't be stressing or trying to change things. Simply be in the moment because spirit is working with you to help you make that breakthrough. And um, you're being guided right now by a guardian angel, and the name is Mariah. That's the name of your spirit guide, okay? But I see May as a time of big transformation. I feel like at that time, you're back on track, and all of these problems seem to be kind of dissipated, okay? So it's not an issue of changing. It's an issue of letting the spirit lead you. So I want you to talk to Mariah, okay? Thanks for writing. Okay, my next letter is for Cult of Alexander. I like that name. Um, you know, I see July this year as very important around your relationship area. Because what they show me is that around that time, you're going to be in a very strong, committed relationship. But I know that you've started one now, and it does look like it continues. But in July is when you're going to really start to see that, uh, that change. And it's interesting because both of you are kind of younger souls and you're going through this kind of learning and growing together. But I feel it's a strong relationship. And uh, I want you to meditate on the sign of Gemini. You know Gemini shows the twins. Well you two are like kind of twin spirits. And if you meditate on that image you'll have an understanding. But I see you growing together and learning a lot. Okay? Thanks for writing. Okay, my next letter is for um, Kara Ellis. Hi. You know, around you, I keep getting um, a connection here with communications for your career and also something with music. I feel you have a lot of musical talent and also very good at communication. So I would look at those areas and I feel that would bring you the most success. Okay? Thanks for writing. All right. Uh, my next letter, Ewash23. You know, for you, um, psychology. Psychology would be a good career here. You're very good at working with people and also understanding the scientific process. And uh, I, I see you doing something in the area of like counseling work or clinical study, something in psychology. And they're asking me to tell you that August is the month here for some change in the romance area. Because it looks like around that time there's a new beginning with the relationship. So watch the month of August, okay? Thanks for writing. All right, my next letter is Paramore 96 A and H. Um, you know, you had a past life. It looks like it was in the 1600s. And you were a Catholic monk. And um, What's interesting is right now your spirit guide around you is Padre Pio, and he's the one who's working with you. And uh, if you don't know him, look him up. He was a very famous Franciscan monk, and I believe you were a Franciscan as well. And they're asking me to tell you that your grandmother is in the light and that she's at peace. Now, they're saying that you're going to make the strongest connection with her through the dreams rather than the Ouija. So it's the dream area you want to watch, okay? Thanks for writing. Okay. Uh, my next letter is for uh, Myrna339. You know, um, I have around you the butterfly as your totem animal. And uh, that what that means is your totem animal is a guide. They are kind of like a spirit guide animal for them. Because guides can be people and or animals or insects. And uh, this butterfly is a protector and also a sign for you. So when you're kind of trying to make a decision and you're like weighing two decisions, two options, 
you'll see a butterfly appear. Either like that, a picture of a butterfly in a magazine, or actually a butterfly could actually land in front of you. And that's a sign that gives you some direction. So I want you to be watching for them because that's how you're going to start to to know what's coming. Okay. Thanks for writing. Okay. And my last letter here is for Morgan, forty four. Um, hi. I want to tell you that I picked up around you, uh, your father, and I do perceive his spirit. Now, he's not an earthbound. He's at peace. He actually crossed over. Um, but there was around him an issue of manic depression at the time of death. Uh, and I keep hearing something about, almost like he says, I can't break the addiction. And he may have even had some sort of alcohol or drug addiction that he was using to manage this manic sort of behavior, but he, he went to the light because he was ill. He wasn't an evil person or a bad person, but he's around you. And he asked me to tell you that he's here to bring healing and guiding, and he's showing you the way, okay? Because you're coming to some life decisions here as you go into the summer, and he says, I'm walking with her through it. So you don't have to be worried, but he's in the light. And he asked me to send you his blessings. Okay, thanks for writing. Well, guys, I'm afraid that's all I've got time for today. But I thank all of you for your letters and your writing. And stay here because this week we'll have some more wonderful videos coming. And next week I'll bring you more messages from the spirit world.